Good news for you guys mixing on headphones because real phones came back with a vengeance. We reviewed this software some time ago and I thought it was pretty cool. You guys liked it, but this new version has a ton of new simulation, a new redesigned sound engine and a lot of new features. So let's take a look at real phones 2.0. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Best TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts and offers, and of course, link to Real Phones 2.0. And if you haven't already, please go check out the new website, mixbestv.com. In there, you will find all the mix and mastering courses available, start to finish on so many different genres. On the website, you can also book all the other services, mixing, mastering, mix consultations, private lessons, and a lot more. And if you wanna access the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button down here, become a Mixbest TV member and access the exclusive videos. You also get mixed consultations with it. And if the videos are helping you, please consider supporting the channel by using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. All right, I wanna get right into it because this new version of Real Phone is really packed with new features. I had this new software for a little bit. I tried it with both my Sennheiser and my Neumann headphones. And I gotta say the improvements are massive. First and foremost is the new sound engine completely redesigned, which is not something you see on the plugin. It's not a new feature or a new function. It's just how the plugin operates, which definitely makes this plugin one of the top contenders if you're mixing on headphones for room emulation and also speakers and media emulations. And that's because the new sound engine is not the only under the hood new improvement, but also a new room emulation technology is inside Real Phones 2. The new features instead that you can see is that now you can have custom profiles, you can edit existing profiles, and most important, we have a ton of new environments and different studios, speakers, and that includes hi-fi speakers, TVs, Bluetooth speakers, laptops, smartphones. So we are gonna see and test some of these emulation here so you can get a general idea. Now, for this test, and I'm going to play some audio through this, you can see at the top, you can select the source. So what are you using? Now, I already have uh, some profiles for my headphones. For example, you can see here the Sennheiser HD 600, which I have here next to me, but also you have a generic headphone studio closed and generic headphones studio open. Of course, there's a ton of other profiles for specific models of headphones that you can download and load on the plugin. But for this test, I'm just gonna use the studio open generic headphones because I assume many of you guys have a pair of open back headphones at home. Even if it's not your profile, is a generic open back which should work well enough for you to understand the plugin and to get a general idea of what it does and how it sounds. So here at the top, you select the media that you're using to monitor. Next to it, we have the correction slider. You can see is an EQ curve. You have a visual representation there in the graphic. It goes from off all the way to full 100%. And you can see here how linear the response becomes. You can turn the correction module on and off. We also have a limiter built in just in case the emulation raises the volume. You have the output slider with the output meter. And at the bottom here, we have our long list of various environment speakers, different monitors that we want to emulate and reference to. The first one is reference monitoring. I'm gonna click on this so you can see that once you select the main environment, let's call in this case is a studio, you have three choices for each one. So you see how many we have here. All these can be multiplied by three because you have for each one, three different choices. We have phones, we have normal, which are in this case, the near field reference monitoring, or we have ambient with the mains. If we change studio, you can see again here, near field, mid field, and far. For example, we have a home studio. You can reference, you can see here on a Bluetooth speaker, on a mix from the desk or far away, bookshelf speaker, and we have again, the mini, two different models here. We have a TV set, Bluetooth speakers again, different models for it. Laptops, same thing. Cars, that's very, very interesting. The dreader car test, you don't have to move from your studio and go to your car. We have different models of different cars. And it's funny because I tried this before doing the video and they're pretty darn accurate. We have different public spaces here. We have nightclubs. This is also very accurate. Front of the stage, ambient. Stereo field, this is what I was talking about. So we have the mix cube here. 
We have again a mono main speakers and we have phones, typical phones. This is another great option, very useful. It doesn't matter if you don't mix in headphones, that is useful even for me. Airbuds, closed, open. Next to the studio slash media emulation, we have the environment slider that goes again from zero to 100% and also brightness. You can also solo the mids, solo the mono or add this high pass, low pass filter to check your low end. Then at the bottom here, we have by default, this is very smart, the plugin comes with this option selected by default, bypass on mix down, because of course you would put this plugin on your master fader, on your mix bus, and you don't wanna print your mix with this on. You only use this to monitor, so by default is bypassed on mix down when you print your mix. High quality, you can see, there is also a switch to advanced mode when you can really, really tweak each and every one. You can really tweak the angle of the monitors if you want a wider and you also have, let me take this off, a graphic representation of what the different angles do. The HRTF, you can also adjust this one as well. You can swap the phase, you can mono the signal, you can swap left and right, and you even have a three bands EQ. That is definitely pretty cool, but let's play something through it. I'm gonna go back to default and we are gonna use for this Studio Open generic headphones. So right now would be the time to put on your open back headphones and let's play something through it. We start with the first reference monitoring and let's start with it off. All right, see even this uh, this presets, this mix check profile. We have dip on the mains to check the low end. We have the boxy to expose resonances in the boxy area. So 250 or around there. And we have sibilant to check for sibilant sounds. That's very cool. And as you can see, you can slide the correction, slide the ambient. Let's try the next one. We have the uh, Bluetooth speaker here in the home studio setup, and then let's try mix. And we have the TV sets here. And again, with the environment slider being how much of that media or environment simulation you wanna add into the correction, which is 
this one at the top. I want to say the studio ones are very useful. You have a bunch of different references, but the different media to me are what make this software extremely useful, regardless if you mix on headphones or not. Let's keep going. Let's listen to other emulation Bluetooth speakers. And you can see you can correct the brightness again, like I said before, we can isolate the sides. It's funny because <laughs> I am very familiar with the with the laptops, especially the first two. That's legit. That's that's really how they sound. Smartphones. Let's try these. That is so funny because <laughs> the cars to me are so very accurate. That's pretty much how, you know, the, the effect that you get when you listen to your mix, you go from your studio and your monitors to the car, which sometimes I think people kind of exaggerate a little bit because we don't think that of course is never going to sound like it sounds in studio is not supposed to, it needs just to translate well. That's a very good emulation of car system here. And even the public space is a legit emulation, very believable. Nightclubs. Even the reverb, even the ambience added to it is extremely believable. Concert hall large. So notice that when we change something here in the environment slider, you also have the data for the density and warmth and high, mid, low, your EQ and everything else. Now I'm not right now I'm on flat studio, so I probably got the worst uh, to show you that. But yeah, you can see here density is a 190 warmth, etc, etc, etc. Because if you want to go here and switch to advanced mode, we are in the modern car you can adjust, like I said, every profile in great detail. And we have the affordable monitors, the white cone series of very popular monitors. So if you're on the road, many people at home have these type of monitors. You want a reference. You have all three models. That's pretty cool. So, 
nation Babylon of the people in a sticky situation It's all over creation That's why money sing for the moderation Aye, on behalf of all the people down the summer you suffer One way ball out to all the living get tougher Them judgment to them me utter And again for each environment every selection tells you what is meant to show you or to expose like for example, this one, vocal, if the vocal sits in the right place, clarity, groove, and it actually delivers spectrum. Let's hear this one, cubes. It's funny because the airbuds really sound like this. So again, this is a really cool mix check tool. Let's try that wet. These were also, I think, in the previous that are profiles that were in the previous version. But again, we have a new redesigned engine and also car again. And again, it tells you what this meant to do and is meant to show you tons of reflections. So how your mix is gonna sound in an environment with a lot of reflections. Pleasure listening, this is the last one. On behalf of all the people down the summer you suffer One way ball out to all the living get tougher Them jokes may throw them me out of Talk it loud, me no stutter Every morning, big eyes wake up to bread and butter And no give a damn about the big me in the gutter I think this plugin is very, very cool. It's very well done, very well designed. Regardless if you're mixing on headphones or not, is a cool tool to have so many different references. Now, here's my advice. The best way to use this is to use the correction for your specific headphone models and then get to know all the different environments and all the different speakers, like a quick check on smartphones, car, TVs, all those media and Bluetooth speakers, all those media, I feel even for me, they give me an instant, completely different perspective. So if there's something in your mix that pops up and you haven't been noticed because you've been working on the mix, for so long sometimes happens and you get deaf and blind about certain things maybe because you've been editing as well or doing some technical work those kind of media will immediately wake you up and give you a completely different perspective but also the different studios if you listen to your reference mixes in there as well and then you compare yours you have more data more metric to make sure that your mix translates well especially because again when you mix on headphones, there's a lot of things to take into consideration. You know I'm not the biggest fan of mixing in headphones, but I did in past successfully. It can be done. There's many engineers out there that do. I feel that this one is definitely a software that can help. The new version is much better than the other one, and the other one was good already. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you have questions. Leave them all down below. Link to Real Phones 2 is going to be in the info box down below. Check out the new website, MixPlusTV.com, if you haven't already. In there you will find all the mix and mastering courses available and you can book all the other services click the join button down here become a mix plus tv member to access all the exclusive videos here on youtube and if the videos are helping you consider using the super thanks grab some merch thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time Don't you know I